Chapter 17, Maintaining the Company of the Righteous You must, O seeker, have great concern for maintaining company with the pious and the righteous. Eagerly seek a righteous sheikh, who is a guide of good counsel, knowledgeable in the laws, one who has traversed the path and tasted the realities, with perfected intellect and understanding, with an awareness of the different classes of people and the ability to distinguish between their instincts, their disposition, and their states. If you succeed in finding such a sheikh, then take to him and let him take care of all your affairs. Seek his approval and advice in all your concerns. Follow him in all his actions and in everything he says, except for those matters that are specific to him in his status of a sheikh. For example, the way he socializes with the people, calls the near and distant people to Allah, and so forth. You must submit to him and not have any objection to any of his states, neither inwardly nor outwardly. If such a thought enters your heart, then make every effort to remove it. If you are unable to remove it, then consult your sheikh so that he may advise you. You must also make him aware of any issues you have especially in relation to the path. Beware of obeying him outwardly when he sees you, then disobeying him in private when he does not see you, for you will perish. Do not meet any other sheikh who takes seekers on the path without the permission of your sheikh. If he grants you permission, then guard your heart and meet whom you will. If, however, your sheikh does not permit you, then know that it is in your best interest, and do not accuse him or think that he is preventing you out of jealousy. God forbid the men of Allah from possessing such traits. Be careful not to desire miracles and matters of the unseen to manifest from the sheikh. Only Allah has knowledge of the unseen. The furthest limit for the saint is that Allah only reveals matters of the unseen to him at certain times. At times, the seeker may approach a sheikh and ask him to reveal what he sees of him. Although the sheikh sees, he may avoid mentioning anything. This may be to protect the secret and veil his state, as they, may Allah be pleased with them, are most cautious in guarding secrets and the least inclined to manifest miracles despite having the ability and control to do so. Most of the miracles that manifest from the saints occur without their choice. If a miracle manifests from them, they often advise those who witnessed it not to disclose it to anyone until they depart from the world. At times, miracles may occur by their will when there is greater benefit in it being manifest rather than hidden. Know that the perfected sheikh is one who benefits the seeker with his determination, his actions, his speech, and he protects him in his presence and in his absence. If the seeker lives far away from his sheikh, then he should seek his guidance in all his affairs, what he should do and what he should refrain from. The most harmful thing for the seeker is when the sheikh's heart changes toward him. Even if the mashaykh of the east and the west were to unite, they would not be able to rectify him until his sheikh is pleased with him. Know that the seeker who is trying to find a sheikh must not place himself under the guidance of any sheikh who claims to be a sheikh until he knows that he truly fits the description of a perfected sheikh and his heart feels content with him. Likewise, the sheikh must not accept any seeker that approaches him until he has tested his sincerity and witnessed his extreme thirst to be guided to his Lord. In relation to the sheikh of discipline, the seeker must be with his sheikh like a corpse in the hands of the washer and like the child with his mother. However, this is not relevant to the sheikh of blessing. When the seeker's intention with the sheikh is to acquire blessing and not be under his guidance, then the more mashaykh he meets and acquires blessings, the better. If the seeker is unable to find the perfected sheikh, then he must continue to make every effort in praying to Allah with absolute sincerity and neediness to unite him with someone who will guide him. Eventually, he who answers the prayers of the distressed will respond to him and guide him to a person who will take him by the hand. There are some seekers who think they have no sheikh, 
but in reality, they do have a sheikh who is cultivating them with his gaze, and he watches over the seeker without his awareness. It all comes down to sincerity. The perfected mashaykh are present. Transcendent is he who did not reveal his saints except by revealing himself, and they can only be found by those who desire to find Allah.